In this video, we're actually going to start grinding um, a cutter. And this is a quarter inch piece of carbide cutter blank that has been split halfway through. And that is a common trait to all single lip cutters. They have to be split. Now, I will on a video show you how to split your own cutters, but you really don't want to waste your time doing that. If you're, if you're using an expensive diamond wheel like this and you're splitting your own cutters, you're just throwing away money. You can buy these for a few more bucks, split on both ends. This cost me like eight, or I'm sorry, $11. Okay, so basically I've got my quarter inch collet here and I've got my quarter inch cutter. The first thing I'm going to do is spin this dial until the red dot is right in the middle of the window. I'm going to put my index up here into the center hole and it's locked into position. I can't turn it and the red dot is showing. Very important. Second thing we're going to do, as I showed you, is just drop the collet in until it slides in. Then we're going to take our piece of single lip carbide and then we're going to take this indexing tool out and what this is going to do is line our fluid up straight. But you were wondering what that was for, right? So basically you just, your cutter is still loose and you just squeeze the two together and that now lines up your flute dead straight. So now we have properly installed a quarter inch diameter cutter blank into the collet. We've used the red dot to line us up. We've used this to make sure we're square. And then I've set the vernier. And you'll see this pop up as a slide here. I've set this vernier at a specific formula. What I'm going to do is grind a quarter inch cutter with a 60 thousandths radius on the corner. The very simple formula, half the cutter diameter, which is in this case 125, minus the radius, 060, is um, 065. So I had to set this vernier at 065, and I'm going to do a whole section on how to set the vernier. It's not that hard. If you're familiar with verniers, it's very easy, but for you guys that uh, are maybe more digitally inclined, uh, a little bit to learn there, okay? So now I've set this up. So what I want to do next, so I can see what I'm doing, is I always put a little red or blue on my end mill, on my cutter blank, so I can properly grind the relief and swing the radius. Now, uh, you'll see a slide pop up here. I remember I showed you earlier what we want was loosen this right here and set this angle on the side to 25 degrees. That's what's going to put the relief on this cutter. So now that we've got this set, now we're going to pull our pin out and put it in the left hole here. Now I hope this makes sense to you. What we're going to end up doing here is grinding our relief. Now you can see I'm nowhere close to this wheel. So this is where I talked about in the earlier videos how sometimes we need to loosen things up a little bit. So I'm going to loosen this lever down here, which lets I've locked the whole tube down on the right. Now I can slide this thing up and get it a little closer to where I want to be. Okay, lock this back down and loosen the lever on the far right again. Now we're swinging back and forth. And this is the knob I told you about earlier. Let's make sure we get that in there. So our cutter is now locked into position. We've used our rough adjustment to get it up fairly close. This will be our fine adjustment. And this will be our adjustment for going back and forth. Remember this knob? So you can see this is controlling how far it goes in. So I'm going to let this cutter feed into the wheel back and forth until about the length of the split that's on the cutter. Okay? So we are ready to grind our first single lip end mill uh, with a 60 thousandths radius on it.